Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would to request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSC futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so as mentioned in my previous video, today we are going to talk about dead cat bonds. So we will be covering some important points in regards to it, like why exactly the dead cat bounce occurs, what is the reason of it being getting formed on the charts, how to identify the dead cat bounce, how to trade the dead cat, uh, dead cat bounce, when can we expect the dead cat bounce to be forming and stuff like that. Okay, but even before we start, let me put in a small disclaimer here that identifying the dead cat bounce is a bit tough and would take some time to have an expertise on that. Okay, as this requires a lot of observation. Also, be notified that trading the dead cat bounce is something that is like a contrarian trading wherein you are going against the trend and trying to make money. Okay, you need to have a very strong head because you know that you are trading against the trend. So keeping calm and being patient enough can be a tough deal here. Okay, so if you are new to this, please make sure that you spend a lot of time on the charts, know what kind of a personality you carry and most importantly, go back to the indices or the stocks that were once in a downtrend and then follow my instructions that I will be sharing here to see how actually uh, how actually to find or identify the dead cat bounce and then trade it in order to earn money. Okay, so having that said, let's get on to the first point. What exactly is a dead cat bounce? So let's say a particular stock is in a downtrend. You see that the low lows and the low highs are being formed. So you know that the stock is in a downtrend. So the prices are falling and in between, you see that the prices start moving up. Now, this up move can sustain for a day or even for a couple of days. And post those couple of days, the stock price again starts falling. So the up move that you saw for those couple of days, wherein the stock price was trying to move up, is the dead cat bounce. Now, why exactly does the dead cat, uh, dead cat bounce occur on the charts? Well, there can be many factors like if the investors are trying to buy on dips, or if the stock is getting some support because of some uh, company activity, because of some activity from the company side, then also the dead cat bounce can happen or occur on the charts. 
okay so uh, let me do this let, let me take you to the chart okay and let me explain it there so that things can be more clearer so this is something which i have uh, uh, i have it ready for you guys okay so this is the beer market that happened in the year 2008-2009 okay as you can see on the chart uh, here the fall started from here okay and as i mentioned in my previous video in order to finalize that the market has gone into a bearish mode it has to fall for at least 20 to 21 percent or more okay so the fall happened from here and let's say for example to round it up the fall happened from 6200 rupees okay so 20% of 6,200 uh, or maybe 6, uh, let's round it up to 6,000, okay? So 20% of 6,000 will be 1,200 rupees, right? So unless and until the stock has gone down till 4,800, we cannot make the statement that the uh, Nifty is in a bearish trend or Nifty has uh, broke down. Okay, so we have to wait for that 20 to 21% of move in the downside and then we can make the statement that, okay, so Nifty has broken and Nifty is in a strong bearish trend right now. Okay, so 6000 is where the fall started and this is the candle. It is a one day candle. Okay, so uh, to be precise, I'm talking about the 7th March 2008 candle. This red candle is the day when the... 5000 uh, sorry 4800 mark was breached right that is 20 percent of 6000 so 7th march 2008 is the day on which we can make the statement that okay nifty has broken down and the market is in a beer trend the market has entered the beer market okay so this is point number one now post the market broke right post the market broke all these uh, uh, green uh, things that you see here those are the dead cat bounces a lot many number of dead cat bounces right so in a bearish market in a strong bearish market whenever you see that the prices are trying to take a support and trying to move up for a couple of days that entire phase is called as a dead cat bounce okay so all the green shadows that i have made here those all are the dead cat bounces okay i hope you are clear as to how the dead cat bounces look like because the visual thing is always better you will never forget whatever you see right so this is how the dead cat bounces look like so we are done with this point okay now moving on to the next thing how do we actually identify or spot a dead cat bounce now identifying the dead cat bounce is the prime thing right because only post we identify it we can play on the buy side so this is how i try identifying the dead cat bounce so let's say a stock is falling and it is in a downtrend so if the stock is in a downtrend then it is bound to make low lows and low highs right now here comes the thing when the stock has made the lower low bring in or use an indicator that shows you that the stock is taking a support at the lower low now that indicator can be anything it can be a moving average it can be a super trend it can be a pivot line anything any indicator that has been tested by you and that works as a strong support will work here okay so the moment the lower low takes a support at the support level and the prices move up that is the time you know that there is a possibility that a dead cat bounce can happen now please note that this is the point where you are anticipating that the dead cat bounce may happen you are not initiating a buy trade here okay so when you initiate a buy trade you initiate the buy trade when the high of the candle that took the support at the support level is broken i'm really sorry guys if 
the statements or the sentences that I'm uttering, if those sentences are confusing you, I would request you to pause the video, go back and listen to it multiple number of times. It will start making sense to you. Okay. I mean, I cannot help it because this is how things should be explained. Okay. So too many number of support levels and candlesticks and all those things. But again, as I said, if you're getting confused, please pause, go back and listen to it once again. I'm sure you will get the thing. Okay, now let's get on to the chart. Okay, now this is a chart which uh, I have selected to explain this particular scenario. Okay, whatever I told just before some time, let me explain it again on this chart. Okay, so this is the chart for BEML as you can see on the left top corner, a one day time frame chart. Okay, now clearly, very clearly, this guy is in a downtrend. How do we know that? Because it is making low lows and low highs right low 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 high low 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 high low high low 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 and it continues like that okay low high and low low let me stop here okay so by seeing the low highs and the low lows you clearly can state that this guy is in a downtrend now when this guy is in a downtrend okay when the lower low forms so let's say for example this let's talk our to be better let's talk about this low low okay let me delete this just a moment okay let's talk about this low low so you need to bring in an indicator that actually works as a support at this level okay let's make it as uh, red just a moment just a moment Let's make it as red. Okay, so you need to use an indicator that works as a support at this lower low level. Okay, you need to again use an indicator that works as a support at this lower low level. At this lower low level. At this lower low level. At this lower low level and at this lower low level okay and as i mentioned earlier that indicator that you will be using can be anything if you feel that a moving average an exponential moving average or uh, a simple moving average can do the job that's fine if you feel that a super trend is doing the job that's fine and if you feel that the pivot lines uh, maybe a standard pivot line or a fibonacci pivot line is doing the job then also it is fine the only point is you need to find an indicator that fits in perfectly at this support level that is when you can anticipate that okay the stock is in a downtrend it is coming down and this is the point where it is taking the support and moving up so you need to wait and see whether it is actually moving up and yes if it is moving up for a couple of days then you know that this is a dead cat bounce now please don't worry about the entry exit stop loss i will just let you know uh, as the video goes on in some time don't worry about that the focus right now is to is how to know whether a dead cat bounce has happened or not okay so i hope this is clear now since i'm talking about this point let me also clarify a small but a very important thing about the support levels okay now when we you see these three dogs that i have done here right so when we talk about the support levels most of the guys what they think is let's say uh, these purple lines are the pivot lines let's say for example we are using pivot lines to find out the support level okay the point where the lower low is taking the support and the stock is moving up okay so let's say we are using the pivot lines as the support indicator okay so what most of the people think is when the stock is moving down and 
only if it touches the support level and moves up that is a perfect support that is being taken now this is not true if you see the first scenario the stock is coming down this green candle is actually touching exactly the pivot line and then moving up so this is a perfect support now this does not mean that figure number two and three are not perfect supports these two guys are also perfect supports because in the second scenario the stock is coming down and the green candle took the support just above the support line that is the pivot line and it started moving up so this scenario also qualifies to be a perfect support now talking about the third scenario in the third scenario the stock is coming down it actually this red candle actually breached the support line and then the next couple of candles went up now the candle that breached this particular support line the purple line the pivot line what you need to see is the closure of that candle should be above the support line if the candle closes the green uh, horizontal line that i have drawn here right that is that uh, shows the closure of the candle okay so if the closure of the candle is above the support line and then the stock moves up then this scenario is also a perfect support scenario okay so there are a lot of myths about uh, the supports and the resistances as well so i hope this explanation uh, gives you a fair idea as to uh, when we talk about support things when we talk that a particular stock is taking a support it necessarily does not have to actually touch the support indicator okay in some cases it will touch the support indicator in some cases it will just uh, it will not touch the support indicator and it will come very close to the support indicator and start moving up and in some scenarios the support indicator will be breached okay but the closure will be above the support indicator and then you will see the stock rising up again so all the three scenarios all the three support scenarios are or can be considered as perfect scenarios perfect support scenarios i hope that is clear okay now let's get back to the topic uh, so where was i just a moment oh uh, just a moment uh, i got lost <laughs> just a moment okay so i was talking about identifying of the dead cat bounce so this is how you identify the dead cat bounce okay now another understanding that you need to have when dealing with the dead cat bounce is that dead cat bounce can also happen in a single candle okay and it can happen in any time frame it can happen in a 5 minutes time frame in a 15 minutes time frame and also in a one day time frame as well okay and when i say it can happen in a single candle what i mean is see the charts here you see this green candle right i mean what is the high and low of this candle approximately let's say 1200 to 1400 uh let's say 1400 so it is a 200 rupees move that has been given on 5th march 2018 in bml don't you think it is a huge huge move that has been given when especially when the um, a stock is in a downtrend a single candle a 1400 rupees stock moving 200 points in a single day is a big deal so this is a precise example of a dead cat bounce that is happening in a single candle okay but if you see here this dead cat bounce happened with 1 2 3 4 5 6 candles so in 6 days the dead cat uh, bounce happened but in this case just one day similarly here in this case the dead cat bounce happened with two green candles in this case it happened with four candles three green and one red okay so here in this on this particular time i'm talking about the dead cat bounce that happens in a single candle that is this uh, this one okay the one which is being formed on 5th march 2018 okay and one thing to remember here is when the dead cat bounce happens in a single candle in any time frame 
you do not buy the stock. I repeat, when the dead cat bounce happens in a single candle, irrespective of any time frame, you do not buy the stock. You should always take the position on the sell side. You short the stock. Got it? Never ever do the mistake of going long when the dead cat bounce happens in a single candle because it will be in a flash. Okay, the buyers will take the stock abnormally high within no time and within a flash it will come down and then the stock will continue moving down. So be very very careful with such scenario. This is one of the key points that has to be uh, what remembered when you are dealing with the dead cat bombs. Okay, now coming to the last and the most important part how do we trade the dead cat bounce and make money out of it so as we all know the entire game of trading is based on support and resistance and dead cat bounce is no special so when the stock price is falling and suddenly when you see that the move that it moves up that simply means that someone somewhere has created a support zone because of which the stock price actually got a support and started moving up right now this support zone is obviously created by the investors it might be a FII or it might be a DII or a HNI or anyone who is big. So now as a trader, what is our job? Our job is to find whether actually the support has been created or not. And if it's created, then where do I take the buy entry? Now to solve this, we have the technicals like the indicators, as I said, and the oscillators as well. Okay, so make them work for you make use of the technicals to see if the support is being taken in and around the indicator or not if you see that the support is being taken just above or at the level where we have the indicator then we know that a dead cat bounce is happen is, is happening and i can initiate a buy trade okay now coming to where to take the entry okay so let's take this example okay uh, and let me increase the size of the candle so that it can be more clearer okay so the stock is falling making low lows and low highs and you have an indicator here let's say you use the pivot line as i said okay so let's say we have the pivot line here and this candle actually came here took the support and closed above this particular support line that is the pivot line so where do we take the entry now this is a one day time frame okay it might be a five minutes time frame it also might be a 15 minutes time frame but what important is where to take the entry you do not take the entry on the candle which is taking the support at the support line you take the entry when the high of this candle is breached so the high of the candle is a uh, 1229.90 so you can initiate your trade at 1230 so the moment the high of this candle is breached take the entry put your stop loss just below the support line now mark my words i'm telling put your stop loss below the support line i'm not stating at the support line that makes a lot of difference if you if you put your stop loss at the support line and if you put your stop loss below the support line always give some gap to the market so that it can react according to your expectations okay now let's not let me not talk about that just remember that the stop loss should be kept below the support line and not at the support line okay so your entry is where uh, so your stop uh, stop loss is here below the support line your entry is when the high of the candle is breached and you can exit at the next support uh, sorry resistance level or if you are a guy uh, like if i take my example i normally uh, book my profits according to the percentage so if i'm dealing with a thousand rupees script uh, i normally expect to book my profits at about one percent okay now but it, it it again varies okay sometimes it can be one percent or if you are lucky enough then it can give you a really high spike which covers two to three percent as well okay but to be on the safer side 
I always book my profits at around 1%. So if I'm dealing with a 1400 rupees script, 1% of it will be 14 rupees. So I always try to book out my profits at around 12, 13 or 14 rupees. Okay, so that is the approach that you can take, right? So I hope that is clear on how to take the entry, where to take the entry, what should be your exit and where should you put your stop loss. Okay, so this is all that I wanted to share with you guys, okay, in regards to the dead cat bounce. As a trader, it's always good to know stuffs, okay? Now, whether to implement it to make money or not is something that is left to you because if you decide to implement it, then that would require a lot of time for you to observe the tits and bits of that particular thing and to successfully carry it out on the charts, okay, to carry out the trades. Okay, so it all depends on you, how much hard work you want to put in, what are the things that you observe, I would say what are the right things that you observe and stuff uh, and stuff like that. Okay, so that's it from my end guys and uh, for the guys who have not watched my previous video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of this video, the eye symbol that you see there, you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know some more details about HYIT that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and I will surely reply back to them. And also, please do not forget to like this video if you liked it. Okay, so that's all from my end and I will see you all later. Hope you all will stick back. Happy trading and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.